today kicks off Halloween weekend, and if you didn't get your candy yet, well, you don't want to wait much longer. Austin Love is joining us live. He's helping us kick off Halloween. You're yeah. going to help us wrap it up, too. Yeah. Pun, I, I, if you're candy for, pun not intended. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> Maureen, you're just you're on you're firing in all cylinders this morning. But hey, if you <laughs> haven't gotten your candy yet, you're just way in the past right now. And I don't want to alarm anyone, but take a look at these pictures. This is the uh, that are sent to the newsroom. This is the Target in Parma, the candy aisle, or it was the candy aisle, I should say. And it's incredibly picked over right now. I see some Almond Joys over over here, some Rolos, Paydays, all the uh, candy that if you're giving those out, all the kids are going to be like, yeah, we're not, we're going to skip this next year. But the, <laughs> there's a lot of treats still to be had here this Halloween, and I'm breaking it down by the numbers. Take a look. <laughs> 1.8 million. That's the number of kids who plan to dress up as Spider-Man this Halloween. $50,927. That's the amount raised for St. Jude's Children's Hospital from this epic Halloween display in Olmstead Falls. Alan Perkins and his family's home has been on just about every major news outlet now, and he used the fame to help others. 14. That's the number of couples who got married in a Halloween ceremony at the Akron Civic Theater yesterday. Today. And seven, that's the number of tombstones Miles Garrett used to decorate in his yard. Each tombstone represents a name of a quarterback he's faced or will face this season, including Big Ben, who the Browns play this Sunday.